Hi everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique. So I've been making and teaching how to make jewelry for a very long time. And one of the comments that I always hear is, you make it look so easy. Well, I think it is, and I wanna show you just how easy it can be. So I'm gonna take some simple parts and some simple techniques and put them together and teach you how to make your very own jewelry. If you wanna see what I'm making today, come and join me. Okay, so to make my knotty wrap, we're only gonna be using a pair of scissors or a pair of cutters, doesn't matter which ones you use. And we're gonna be using a little bit of GS Hypo Cement. Of course, our barrel knot tube. I've got a beautiful Tierra cast button. We've got two different colors of six aught Mayuki seed beads and about two meters of one millimeter leather cording. So let's get started. So to figure out your sizing for this bracelet, what you need to do is to take a loose measurement of your wrist. So let's say that your wrist is approximately seven inches and that's not a really tight measurement you want it. And I don't mean loose as in like an extra inch, but I don't mean tight either. So sort of, you know, just a nice loose, comfortable um, measurement because this is gonna be a double wrap. So we don't want it tight against our skin. So if my wrist measures out about seven inches, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna double that. So now I have 14 inches. Now I'm gonna add another eight inches. And so I come up with a total of 22. So whatever your measurement is, so if it's 16, you're gonna add 16 plus eight. If, it's, if you've got a six inch wrist, you're gonna take 12 plus eight. So whatever your wrist measurement is, times it by two and add eight. And that's just so that we have enough working leather. So I'm gonna find 22 inches on here. So I've got 12 and 10. And again, this doesn't have to be an exact sort of measurement, but we do wanna make sure that we're not um, taking up too much of our leather. So what I tend to do is I just hold it in my non-dominant hand. I then pick up my uh, button and I run my piece through there until I can grab hold of the end. And this one is not cooperating with me today. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't. There we go. So now I'm gonna just bring that down to that little area there. And again, it doesn't have to be an exact measurement. So now I've got my um, shorter piece on the bottom and that's the one that we're gonna be placing um, or wrapping around our wrist. And then I've got my long one on top and that's the one that I'm gonna be doing my wraps with. So you always wanna make sure in this project that you're wrapping with your long one. So I'm gonna take my little barrel knot tube. I'm gonna place that in there and I'm gonna take my long one on the top and I'm gonna bring that down and towards me and then I'm going to wrap three times and I want to make sure that the wraps are always going towards the left there nice and neat not on top of each other now I'm going to grab hold of that knot and then I'm going to take this long one and come through the back side and push it through grab hold of the knot again and then pull that tube out and pull down so I'm, I know you can't see the knot but I have to hold on to it now when I get to this point, I'm going to sort of shimmy it down and what I do is I push it with my fingers like that and then I start to slowly tighten it. Now, of course I've done these barrel knots on a million of my uh, tutorials, but I very seldom use one millimeter leather because it's very delicate. So you don't wanna be pushing on this leather and like reefing on it because you will break it. Um, you know, of course it's strong enough to make a project with, but you don't wanna give a really good tug like you can with one and a um, half millimeter or the two millimeter. So make sure that you're just sort of pushing and pulling gently, but you wanna sort of nudge that into um, position. And you can see I've left about a quarter of an inch gap. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, f start my pattern. So on the first um, one, and it doesn't matter which side you start on, I'm gonna take one of my blue, one of my yellow, and one of my blue. And this will be in a kit, and we've got three beautiful color choices. And then I'm gonna take one of my blue, one of my yellow, and one of my blue. And these are those beautiful Picasso beads that you guys all love so much. So I thought I have to include those in this project. So now I sort of push them down and create like a little bundle like this. Now I wanna make sure my long one's on the top and it's not, so I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do a barrel knot. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting pretty close here because it can get a little hard when you've got it up here and you're trying to push it down. So I wanna have it fairly close to what I'm trying to, where I'm trying to aim. So I'm gonna bring this in front 
wrap towards the back once, twice, three times. Now this is probably the most challenging of the knots using the one millimeter leather. I find it very, um, I don't know, it's just a little more delicate to work with in that it doesn't want to go into position. So you might end up fighting with it a little bit more than uh, the heavier leathers. So um, just be patient with it and don't rush. So when I get to this point, this is where it can often go kind of wrong. Uh, so I'm very careful about sort of just guiding that into place gently with my fingers like that. Like I literally do go this slow. And if that one wants to pop under, I just kind of pull it apart and I'm being very gentle with it make sure it's right where I want, and then I tighten it up. Now, one of the things you wanna make sure when you've got this, this one here, the short one, um, is will move in and out here. You can actually move that one around. So you don't wanna have these so that you've got one big side and one short side here. So be mindful that both of the um, pieces of leather are creating sort of an eye shape here. So once I get that into position, I'm gonna give that a little tighten up with my, I just push my thumbnail against it and tighten it up. Now these aren't supposed to be tight in here, they're supposed to be sort of free flowing like that. So that's exactly the look that we want. Now I'm gonna continue with the pattern. So now on the next one, we opposite the pattern. So now I'm going to go with the yellow and the blue and then the yellow. And then repeat that on the long one. And I did it this way just because it gives it a little more visual interest. Uh, to have the, the contrasting colors going opposite. Um, you, you can do whatever you want on yours, uh, but I just think it looks a little bit nicer like this. So now I've got my long one at the top. So I wanna push those down, get them in position, take my barrel knot tube. I come in very close to that one. Make sure I go under and towards the back. Wrap once, twice, three times. Grab hold of that knot, always grab hold of it. It'll give you a lot more control. Find your end, come through the tube, grab hold of the knot again, pull the tube out. Get that just about where you want. And now you can have a look at it. So now I'm gonna start squishing it backwards to get it into position. And once it's pretty much where I want it, then I can start pulling it tight. And this is also a nice thing that um, if you don't tighten it up and it kind of goes wonky on you, you can easily undo it at this point. So you can see I really take my time, get that into position, and then I kind of push it in. But again, I'm not pulling tight on this. Um, I'm just pulling tight enough to tighten up the knots. I'm not pulling so tight that I break my leather. Okay, so there's our second one. And I'll do one more here so you can see the pattern. So now I ended with the yellow, so I'm gonna start with the blue. So I'll go blue, and then yellow, and blue. And then we've got our blue, and the yellow, and the blue. And you'll get enough leather and beads in your kit to probably go up to more than about an eight and a half to almost a nine inch wrist. So this will um, go, sort of fit for everybody. So my short one's on the top, so I wanna turn it over so that my long one's on the top. Make sure, th sure these are pushed down. Pick up my little barrel knot tube and I'm gonna take this and pull it around to the front from the back. Work to my left three times. Grab hold of that knot. Find the long end, push it through, pull that out, and then push that into position. And I mean, it's not hard. I'm just giving you a little, you know, when I was making these, I just, I found that they can be a little persnickety. So I want to give you that warning in advance. Um, that's a technical term. Did you not know that? Persnickety? Um, <laughs> that you could have some challenges with this. So just, you want to take your time and not uh, just start, you know, pulling on it like crazy or trying to get them into position too fast because they just won't turn out nice. So there's our, the beginning parts of the bracelet. So now through the magic of television, I have one that's almost completed and I'm going to switch to that one. Okay, so I have my other color with my beautiful um, green Picasso and the smoky topaz. 
uh, oh gosh this is my favorite one and I've used that beautiful beachy color leather so this one is my favorite um, so I've got my last one on here and I'll explain a little bit of the sizing once I get this done so I'm going to come in I'm going to do my last wrap so again it's just going to be like a regular one so once twice three times making sure it's with my long one and you can see we've got lots of leftover leather but that's to make sure that we can fit for all sizes on this so get that into position push it back and then tighten it up there we go so that's my last one so the way that I've kind of done this is I, I sort of looked at some of the sizing and what I kind of figured out is that if you have about a six inch wrist you're going to have about 18 of these little sections of um, three if you have a seven inch wrist you're going to go about 21 inches because by the time we have our our not 21 inches sorry 21 sections um, by the time we add our ending and our button that sort of accounts for that so depending on the size of your wrist you may have to add or subtract but that's kind of what i have figured out is approximately 18 sections for a six and 20 or 21 for a seven. So again, everybody has different size wrists, so you'll sort of have to figure out um, how the sizing works for you. So now what I want to do is take my button and place it in between the leather, and I want to give sort of an approximate size. So I know that I want to have about, you know, around here. On this particular one, you want to make sure that your button is not too tight. Because it's only one millimeter leather, it will take a little bit more punishment than the um, a little bit heavier leathers. So you don't want to have this so tight that it stresses this out. Now, if it ever does break on you, the good thing is that your beads will still be intact. You would just need some more leather. So, okay, so now I'm going to take my um, barrel knot tube and place it in between. And it doesn't matter if it's the long or the short one because we're at the end. So I'm going to make a barrel knot at that approximate location and so I'm going to go three times bring my end through and then before I tighten it up I just make sure that it's the right like see how big that is so I'm going to push it down until it's just about in the right location and then I'm going to sort of you know that looks like it's about perfect so then I'm going to tighten it up and what I do is I sort of look where I want it and I want it to be about right there so I place my thumbnails there and that's where I push my um, knot against and then it, the knot won't go any further than I want it to so then on the ends you can embellish in whichever way that you want uh, you may have a few leftover beads so on one side I'm just going to put one color bead and then I'm just going to do a little wrap so I'm just going to go once twice and take that go through the end and you can do anything you want you don't have to embellish you can just trim off it's your piece you can make it look exactly like you want if you want you can leave these long so that they dangle you can add additional things or some metal beads or <laughs> whatever you want but um, I'm just going to do a little embellishment on mine so go once, twice, go through the end. That's what I love about this tube, is it really just helps keep things consistent. Now I don't want to have these side by side, I want to have this one a little bit longer, because when they go side by side I don't think they look as nice. So just going to make sure that one doesn't get out of place. There we go, tighten that up. Okay, so now you can see it's just a cute little embellishment. So now I'm going to trim it off. And now you want to make sure that you do use some glue because this is going to take all the punishment down here. So I'm just going to remove this. And I'm going to put a little dab of glue on the ends of these, just a little tiny dab. Find the sort of open part of the knot there. And then I'm going to put a little blob of glue here. And it looks like a lot, but it, it'll dry clear and then a little bit there and then we're going to let that dry. 
So there you go. Here's our completed knotty wraps. I love these ones. I think I say that in every video, don't I? I need to come up with something new to say at the end of them. <laughs> I'm loving the color combinations of these. I've got the Picasso in the red and the black, and I've used the silver, and I've got a black um, leather in here. And then I've got my favorite one here with the, um, the sort of beachy colored gray leather and the green and the smoky topaz. And then the one that I started uh, at the beginning here with the uh, uh, blue and the yellow. So you'll get your choice of whatever kind of Picasso colors that you want. You get your color of metals and you'll also get the color to choose for your leather. So I hope you enjoyed this one. It looks really, really pretty on. I think it's gonna be one of your favorites and it's a really great gift to make for somebody. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a like. Please make sure to leave me a comment. Tell me which color combination is your favorite. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I wanna thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.